Can I make a little toast? Can we get a little close? Can I get an amen? Can I get a hell yeah? Can I get a holy ghost? Hello, hello, this is Chup Rocks here with a one-shot commentary. There is a channel here on YouTube called Queer Kid Stuff, which is run by a woman named Lindsay and her assistant named Teddy. And you can guess the channel's approach is to teach children about what it's like to be queer and what the letters in LGBT stand for. And long story short, her videos are bad. So let's find out why they are bad, shall we? Today we are talking about the second letter, B. B stands for bisexual. Bisexual is very similar to gay and lesbian, which we've already talked about. Bisexual is when a boy or a girl loves other boys or girls. Bisexual is when you love people of both genders. Here's my biggest problem. What she says is incorrect because any logical person would know that the actual term for bisexual is the sexual and physical attraction towards men and women. What she stated previously was the term for biromantic, and that is the romantic attraction towards both men and women. I guess I'm a little confused. Are people who are bisexual also gay if they are a boy in love with a boy or a girl in love with a girl? And what if a boy and a girl love each other? Does that make them not gay? Also, did I mention that her target audience is towards children from ages 2 to 4 years old? I have no idea why she feels like it's mandatory to teach toddlers this stuff, but the irony in this is she's teaching them incorrect information. In fact, what she is trying to do is not going to help children out in the long run, and this is probably going to make them even more confused when they grow up. Especially since toddlers are at an age where they just mastered walking, don't speak in complete sentences, are learning how to be potty trained, and can't read or write. To make matters worse, this woman ignores all outside criticism and thinks her critics are nothing but haters and trolls. So you know how she resolved this? She disabled comments and ratings on all her videos. Lord in heaven, I just can't imagine how horrible that negative feedback was. I wonder if it was something she said. Either way, I'm going to end the video here because it just gets weirder from here on out. But you know what is also crazy about this chick? She has made videos on what it means to be gay, lesbian, trans, homophobic, and a feminist. Yep, and these are directed towards children. Lord help us all. My final thoughts? Lindsay, if you ever get around to watching response videos, please, for the love of God, check your sources. Have somebody check your script for crying out loud. And seriously, when people give you constructive criticism, don't just assume it's just haters and trolls, because that really doesn't make you look that much more mature than a toddler. Before I go, I just want you guys to know that I am planning to do a full-length commentary. However, I haven't been able to get around to doing it because of, well, school and life. However, now that I'm on winter break, I feel I can probably make that video happen. However, I need two or three more people to check over my script before I can start recording audio and maybe I can have it up sometime this week or the following week. If you can be able to help me out, um, that would be awesome. So until then, this is Chirp signing out.